Today on Double Zero Garage, we're visiting Clover Services. Now, it's on the Brunswick Industrial Estate in the northeast of the UK, and it's the place to come if you need any welding or any fabrication done. The reason we're here today is to visit a mate of mine by the name of Dave and have a look around, a quick look around, the two vehicles that he's got up here at the moment. My name's Nigel, and this is Double Zero Garage. So then, Dave, why, why an F100? Why this F100? Um, because I'm in love with the V8. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a friend of mine um, kind of dangled the, the carrot. Yeah. Kind of dangled the carrot. And um, I have another American V8, yeah. which is undergoing a major um, custom resto mod type right. look. And that's going to be off the road for a fair while, and I'm, I felt the need for another V8. There's always the need for a, always, the need, always the need for another V8. And interestingly, the the other V8 you have, um, we'll be taking a look at that one in a couple of minutes as well, and we'll get some uh, we'll get some video footage of that one. Um, what we'll do, we'll give you a quick look at the interior of this that we're currently sitting in. Uh, give me a second. So this is the interior of the F100. Uh, as you can see, it has an aftermarket aircon system, which at the moment isn't working, which is uh, typically normal for anything American. But it's the, the normal dashboard cracks on the top there, which isn't uh, too much to worry about. Um, but we've got the lovely elongated gauge for the speedometer, and then there's the ashtray, the radio. And the interesting thing that we've discovered though, if you can make it out, is this little box down here. Now that there, we're not quite sure what that is or what it's supposed to do. It's attached to the dashboard, thinking it's something aftermarket. So if anybody knows anything about these, uh, what they do and what they should be connected to or, um, or what they come from, if um, if you want to quickly let us know, uh, leave it in the comments underneath and let us know what's going on with that one. And then obviously we'll uh, we'll pass that information on to Dave so he knows exactly what it is that's uh, attached to the dashboard on the off chance we can't find out from anywhere else. So this one at the moment, it's the um, it's well patinaed. Uh, obviously the sun beating down on it in the States has, uh, has taken care of a lot of the lacquer and the paint. Um, do you have any plans for it Dave and what you're going to do with it? Um, Make it safe to drive, mm. and drive it. It's just going to burn the tyres off it and enjoy the it. Off it. At the moment, as I say, this is me, this is me V8 fix where the other one's being done. Um, I am a spray painter, and I have to admit, when I got home last night, I was driving home in the little shoebox thing, thinking mm, black tulip or something like that would be really nice. But to be honest, at the moment, uh, there's a couple of things I need to do on the truck to get it roadworthy. Um, and then it's just just drive it and use it until the the 50 panels finish. And of course, a lot of the viewers that are watching will no doubt comment on whether or not it should stay as it is, or whether it should be painted and, and have a little bit of work done to it. Personally, I would favour leaving it as it is, uh, and just get into it and, and enjoy it as much as possible, and uh, and have some fun with it. But um, We'll, we'll shut this bit off there for now, and uh, we'll, I'll do a little bit, uh, a little bit more pieces to camera later on with regards to this one, and I think we'll uh, we'll head inside 
and have a look at the, F, uh, the, uh, the 50s panel that's sitting in there as well. Right, so we're still here with, uh, with Dave. This is his other project that he mentioned a few minutes ago. This is a 1950 Ford F1 panel van, uh, which makes it 70 years old. So, as you can see, it's, uh, it's looking good for 70 years old. It's not that bad. Uh, there is a, a lot of work that needs to be done with it, though. And uh, we'll have a quick walk around this, so you can see some of the extent of the van and the work that's in progress, and then uh, we'll catch up with Dave on, uh, on future plans for it and what he's going to be doing with it. It is so cool, though. It's such a cool-looking thing. So it's, uh, it is actually running and driving, or it was running and driving um, when it arrived here, and a full thing started getting taken off it and looking to see uh, what work needs doing to it. So uh, it's very nice though. It's very worthwhile having. As you can see, there's lots of bits and pieces lying around at the moment. So uh, Dave's next to us now. So with this particular one, Dave, um, what are your plans with this one then? This one is complete resto. Um, when I bought it, it was, well, as you know, you were one of the first people to see me drive it. Um, it was satin black, and I hate satin black. Uh, I hate it with a passion. To me, anything satin black has been painted like they hide something. Yeah. Um, so the decision was made to uh, originally just get the paint sorted out and drive it. Um, and as you can see, six weeks with Mr. Angie, Angie Grinder yeah. and uh, all the fellows of it. It has to be said that I was less than impressed by the original American restoration. Mm. Um, they've done an awful lot of bodge, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, as I say, when it arrived, it had a 327 Chevy in it, which it's still got. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I made the mistake of asking on one of the Facebook pages, what's the big deal with the Ford having a Chevy in it? <laughs> I think I'm banned from one page, but never mind. Um, it was truly awesome, cooler than Penguin Poo, um, and an absolute nightmare to drive. Yep. Um, 70 year old steering system, braking system, um, a set of leaf springs and coilovers on the back, which we still haven't worked out that one, why, why it does that. Um, so the decision was made once I realised how bad the, and how much filler, how bad the repairs were to it, was to take it down to bare motor bones. And at that point, um, it was change it to right hand drive. Once again, it's a Frankenstein. There's bits of all sorts on it. So it was like, right, jag front end, jag rear end, and uh, make it right hand drive. Purely and simply because we drive on the proper side of the road over here. And it was an absolute nightmare driving it with left hand drive being a panel. Yeah. You have virtually no. No vision, and it was it was a, a, a lottery. Every time you wanted to overtake anything on it. Okay, and with regards to the engine, the, th uh, the 327 that's in it, is it still a 327? Yes, very much so. Um, 327. Um, I think it's had some work on it because it is even for you know for it being a big van like this, it, it is quite rapid. It mm. takes off really really quickly. Yeah. Hence the updated brakes and suspension, yes. etc. Yeah. Um, as well, like it to be any additions to the engine, as in a, a turbo or a supercharger? Oh, super, funnily enough, no. <laughs> Absolutely, categorically, <laughs> utterly no. No, right? As you are well aware, there's another person in the garage at the moment yep. who, whose sole purpose in life is to get me to buy additional add ons and things. Yes. And um, despite appearances, I'm not made of money. Uh, I'd love, I'd love to have the full supercharger. Mm. And, and all the rest of it on it, but eight miles to the gallon or even less, because it will be a daily drive on it. Yeah. Um, it's just not practical. Yeah. So as usual, then, it's even though it's a it's a fun vehicle at the end of the day, and there's a lot of work to do here. But when it's all finished, it still comes down to economy. Uh, if you're going to drive it every day, you want something that's going to give you a reasonable amount of mileage, yeah. preferably in double figures rather than single figures. Yeah. So. Um, It'll be nice to see it when it's all done, and um, what we'll do on the channel, give me a couple of moments here. What we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on, uh, on Dave's progress with the van, and uh, as things change we'll be here to fill in various things of it. It really is the early stages. Uh, it's all been stripped down, and uh, he's found some 
some little bits of horror stories, which is always a bit disheartening, especially when you think you've bought something that's really cool. Although, having said that, it is, as he said, still as cool as, uh, as Penguin Poo. It really is. It would be even better to see it on the road when it's all complete. But we'll be definitely visiting back here quite often and, uh, and keep everybody updated on the progress of the van as and when it happens. And obviously the same with the pickup as well, should anything change with the pickup. Right, well, thanks very much for that, Dave. Uh, always nice to meet somebody and uh, a friend that went over the, another car worth looking at. And um, hopefully it won't be too long before we're back here doing a bit more filming with any updates that have gone on. Thanks for that. <laughs>